Bush series, a developmental series, so there is some ex inexperience in this field tonight, Kyle. Coming to get the green, you have to be a little extra cautious heading into one? You, you know, you always have to be cautious heading into one, but the one good thing about this racetrack, and, and one good thing about tonight, these guys have already practiced under these conditions. Right. At night, 9.30, 10 o'clock, they know what the racetrack is, they know what the grip is. It's not something unknown to them. As in tomorrow, we're just going to barrel off in the first corner at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night with a ton of grip. But at the same time, these guys already know it. And to get to this level and this type of racing, uh, these guys, got, they've got good heads on their shoulders. They're, they're, they'll be calm the first lap or two. Now watch something happen. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's it. Okay. Well, you shouldn't have said that. Carl Edwards on the pole next to his teammate, Matt Kenseth. 200 laps, 300 miles for the NASCAR Bush Series. Glad you're along for the ride on TNT. had his hands full in three and four. He lost a few spots there. You can see the car wiggle big time. He saved it. Had guys split them on both sides, but gathered it back up. We've got somebody in the wall already. Casey Kane. Greg Biffle. So it took less than a lap for them to get three wide. And now our first caution, af just after the first lap. Watch him head down into one. It looks like Casey Kane may have gotten some help going into turn one there. He had Rudiman all over the back of the car. Oh, you see Bimple right there. He's slowing down. He doesn't know which way to go. Oh, you hate when that happens. Yeah, you do hate it when that. And, you know, at first glance, it looked like it was just body damage to Biffle's car, but I think it got into the rear end and maybe knocked the rear end a little to the left. Uh, no, I'm not sure if Rudeman got in him after all, after that shot. This is on board with Tony Stewart. It's going to be up ahead of him. by the tire smoke as he got into him it turned the car it cocked the car a little bit to the right, right. that's when the tires begin to blow smoke off the rear tires then the car whips around so he just barely touched him I, and if anything casey might have come up a little bit on him first caution coming on lap two here at the lowe's motor speedway nascar bush series racing presented by the outback Steakhouse. You know, this is that time in the race where some of these cars are probably really good race cars, but everybody has grip, everybody has, or is able to go to the gas hard right now. They can't get around each other. They've got to wait 15, maybe 20 laps for the guys that are really handling a little bit off to be able to work their round. You've got Bobby Labonte, you've got Dave Blaney, you've got guys like that, experienced guys who can work their way through this, and eventually they will, but it's a headache to try to come from 25th on the first 10 or 15 laps. Oh, to there's get trouble position. right there, 88. Huffman is around into the wall. Caution number two. Head it out here. You're clear. You're all clear. Watch Come on. Debris up high right where it says low. Our second caution of the race. Shane Huffman. Got to give a nod to Wally Dolan back on that one. That's great camera work by <laughs> Wally. He's the one that said follow that pack. <laughs> Like he just got him a little bit high there. The car got away from him, which is easy to do over here in three and four. Like we we're talking, just talking, Kyle and I were just it doesn't take much for these cars to jump sideways on you. Yeah, in cup practice, we've had three or four guys who have it just gets away from you right there about the next tail sign. Um, same old place it's always been. Like I said in pre race, it's still the same old Charlotte, no matter how you look at it. Second caution of the race. 
Carl Edwards is the race leader. You're watching the NASCAR Bush Series on TNT. 33 is on a mission. Yeah. Now we're going to see if Carl can go fast. I know he yeah. told his crew team, yeah, I can go faster. You have to now. You have to go faster now. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, it, there's egos playing here right now. He's going to go as hard as he can go. Seven wins for Kevin Harvick this season. For win number eight tonight. Uh oh, trouble. 48. Jimmy Johnson has been in the wall. I've seen a lot of veterans have problems. Hey, okay, buddy. Well, that's three quarters of the field, though, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. And you, you know, you have to bring up the point that Tony Stewart had a wicked crash in the Bush race here in May. Yeah, he hit a ton here in the springtime. That's a hard hit right there. When you, it doesn't look at as bad, it just slaps out of the car, but. Now, I'm not sure that car didn't take off like we were talking about earlier. It yeah. looked like that thing just took off and he went up the racetrack and ran out of. And there, there he is in the grass. He had the 48. Clint Boyer. Smoking up here in the process. Just keep coming. The track's clear. Say hi. Tony Stewart. Right there in front of you. Watch him. He's in the grass. He's going to come back across. That's a good example of how much trash really gets thrown up on the racetrack. Sometimes I know sitting there watching a race, and even as a driver, sometimes you say they throw a debris caution, and you look around on the racetrack, and you don't see anything. But that's a lot of trash on the racetrack right and, there. And also, all that stuff is on somebody's grill out there right now. I guarantee you, somebody's got a bunch of grass and dirt on their grill, and they're going to have overheating problems. Good point. Alan. Just a little update on Carl Edwards there. Billy came on the radio about six laps ago and told his team he thought he had a tire going flat. So they all jumped up on the wall. Then he came back and said, well, no, maybe not. It's not that bad. And then he said, well, there's just something weird going on in the steering of this car. Like it's binding up or something. And a good long pause. And then he said, I don't know. It's just weird. Sounds like Friday the 13th there, too, huh? Yeah. And weird's never good, is it? No, I don't think at 100 five miles an hour it's very good so now. what's your excuse Webber? <laughs> true true that's true the other thing is wait a minute the, the other thing that's happening here the other thing that's happening here is remember this is a brand new left side tire okay yes. this is the first time anybody's put 50 or 60 crash oh and those guys were running so good reed Sorensen yep. was in the fifth position and those guys were having a really really good run tonight. Right, and ninth in the championship right, standings well, look at a rotor bouncing across the racetrack. Don't want to hit that. Lots of sparks. Our fifth caution, and this hurts the guys that stopped under the green. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Nothing you can do when that happens, but hang on and put your teeth. And that is a hard hit because it, it goes up, and that's a bad angle. That's just a hard hit. Mike Skinner is going to be the lucky dog. He will come around and be just the 17th car on the lead lap, and we're not quite to halfway. Yeah, Matt was putting them down pretty hard there. That last 15, 20 lap run, he was putting a bunch of guys down a lap. Yeah, he came from about, he lapped from about 31st to 32nd to about 17th in about 10 laps. It seemed like he was really, he was moving on. Kevin Harvick trying to clinch the Bush Series Championship. Currently scored 34th, two laps down. I was. I tried. Just past halfway. Whoa, I wouldn't do that. Sauter in the double zero. And Leffler in the 38 are on the tail end of the lead lap. But in front of the race leader, Carl Edwards. dog trying to keep Carl Edwards behind him Edwards is not going to wait <laughs> rewind see ya 
aggressive on the move. Edwards trying to get under Sauter for the lead. We got a grip. We got a wreck it off the board. Sliding through the grass. A bunch of cars in this one. That's Mike Skinner in the 12. I mean, I saw uh, Tony Stewart. Brad Baker there in the 72 car. There's the 8 car. Getting above Dave Blaney, he just get he just loses it, and I mean, oh, the 44 loses it at the same time. Yeah, it's hard to tell whether the 44 lost it or got hit by the 20 because yeah. it was like synchronized spinning. This will be coming right at you now. Well, Denny Hamlin yeah. did a really nice job. It looked like it Kenny did. Wallace did too, getting through that mess. There's Skinner. And this is on board with Stewart. To lose it right here, right back when he's getting on the throttle. Well, the good news. I got good news. I got good news and bad news. Whoa. He was a little bit long right, getting out the throttle on that one. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> I agree. It's Regan Smith in that 35 car. Well, the big mess just passed halfway at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. Carl Edwards leads Matt Kenseth and we're under caution again. Had a tire issue. Had to come to pit road under green that had a very lengthy stop. Harvick trying to nail down the Bush Series Championship tonight. Would be the earliest it's ever been done in the history of the series. Inside of Kyle Bush. Oh, we got trouble on the back stretch. Car on the inside, a couple of them. Oh, Jeff Burton and Vidovich in the four car. Right across the track. Oh, in the 23. Keselowski just hammers the wall. A lot of damage to Jeff Burton's car. There's Brad. Brad. I couldn't stop. Yeah, Brad had no place to go. When, when that all happened and they come back up the racetrack, he had no place to go. He had to take evasive action and go to the left and, and drive through the door of the four car. It looks like the four car, bit of it just loses it getting off a of two there Ooh. and just collects Burton, who was trying to avoid it. Oh, man, God. that is a hit that four car took. Wow. And these guys were just avoiding Vidovich coming off the racetrack, and I don't know who that red car was. He did a good job, and Keselowski just didn't make it. I'm going to tell you, that's three of the hardest hits you'll see yeah, in one I'll accident at the same time, because this car, the four car, took a wicked hit on the inside there, and then Brad right here, that's driver's side right there, and it just slaps you up next to the roll bars. But when, when you see Burton, Burton hits the four car hard enough to lift the four car off the ground. Yeah, I mean, that right rear is just buried in that four car. That's a hard hit yeah. right there. Watch that right rear just get, I mean, drilled. Who is that right car? Is that, I think that's Michael Waltrip. This is on board with Stewart. I don't think that's Michael. Michael's in the 99, is that? Four bunch. Had a lot of sponsor people here this week. Yes. Seventh caution. So this is Kenseth trying to get back on the lead lap. And Mears doesn't want to make it easy for, for Matt if he can help it. I mean, he knows that. He lets the 17 car go. He's going to watch the 17 car drive off into the distance, which is going to hurt him later when he's got a pit. So he's got to run hard and not be such a nice guy and let this, let the 17 clean, you know, a clean pass. Yeah, no, he, he needs to hold him up if he can, you know, and he's not holding him up, believe me. They're, I mean, they're running hard here. Crash. Jamie McMurray. Caution is out. Field is frozen. Okay, everything we were talking okay. about, just forget it. Everything you're talking about, forget, <laughs> except yep. for this. 
Matt Kenseth is the lucky dog. Right. Yeah. So he's still in the race and still has an opportunity here. And we'll wait for that officially, but if Kenseth is the lucky dog, he would come around and be just the seventh car on the lead lap. And Kenseth is the lucky dog. Just got loose underneath Musgrave there in the 14 car. And too bad, because Jamie had another good run going. The luckiest guy here tonight is Ted Musgrave. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's only going to be seven cars on the lead lap, and a couple of those guys, Michael Waltrip, Danny O'Quinn, Stacy Compton, I mean. But they haven't pitted. They've got to no, pit, which, true, moves, yeah. which moves Carl Edwards and Matt Kenseth Up back to the, the one and two position yeah. again. So it's the same race it was 50 laps ago. Unless this caution is long enough that Mirror stays out. I don't think they have. I don't, I don't think there's a gear long enough or a yeah. caution long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Be eight to go when they take the green flag. Single file restart. Edwards is the leader. Mirrors is second. Tell it's Friday the 13th. This is where it's going to matter right here. Case of has got a really good restart. Let's see if Dave's theory holds up. Let's see whose car's better right here. For Ethan, through three and four. Casey's driving it like it's the last time yeah. he's ever going to set the race car for his lifetime. <laughs> Got a good run there. He's driving the wheels off of it right now. Oh, oh a little bobble there with the 60. That might be enough. He's going to get a little bit loose if he can get close enough to Edward's bumper. And we got a car in Yellow is out. Yellow is out behind you. Yeah. Leffler. We'll do it all again. <laughs> Somebody keep an eye on the pace car. All right, now, now this is good for Kenseth. This is great for Kenseth because now Kenseth does not have to be the longest car in, the, in, in line. He can go up to where the lead lap cars are. Watching the 38 car here. Goes around the high side, just gets loose. Yeah, it was sideways on entry. Yeah. The bad part for Kenseth is that there's only going to be four or right. five laps left. Yeah, a lot of bad things came out of this. Yeah. But they got the right leader. Be four to go when the green comes out. Matt Kenseth picked up about half a mile. At least. Because of that caution. Looks like that 60 car is a little bit loose down there in three and four. I think if the 42 gets up close enough on that bumper, he can make life difficult for Carl. Three to go. Casey's car is really strong from the center off. Wow. Saw him lag in the corner on that restart behind Carl and really get a tremendous run up all two and down the back stretch, and Carl had to block him. Well, he may have it up there. He may have it now. Oh, there. Here's and Edwards around. Caution is out. Daniel Quinn has gone around. Matt Kenseth sneaks through. Dave Blaney's going to win the race. Yep. And Kevin Harvick may end up clinching the championship. on the damage to the 60 car and where he finishes. He just got up on the outside of the 60. They were coming off a four. The 60's got a little bit loose. It, well, 42 got real loose. Yes. He got in the wall and took the 60 out. But. Yeah, 42. But the 60 car, that's where Wally, like you had said, the 60 car looks loose, looks loose, looks loose, right in that place, right there. And you see the 60, he, he gives him room. 
He gives him room. The 42 just gets up in the outside wall, bounces off, and gets into Carl. Just hooked him in the right. I mean, and you're right. Carl gained the 42, plenty of room, but it wasn't enough. The crew of Carl Edwards. Boy, last couple of weeks, last laps been pretty, or last yes. few laps have been uh, tough. You don't want to be leading. There's Carl. Tell you what, he ran a, he drove a great race tonight. He did. He didn't get the win, but. Talking to the fans. There have been numerous guys out here tonight that have driven some great races that aren't going to get credit for anything. Yeah. You know, see in that paint scheme, there's Casey Mears. He's upset about something or with someone. Looking for a race winner and maybe another champion. It should be interesting to see what that 50 put on for tires. Yeah. That could be a very fast car, depending on what they put on there. Yeah. He does have a little damage to the right front there. Yeah, he oh, does. Yeah. Right. 17 car in second has led 51 laps tonight. Dave Blaney looking for his first win in the Bush Series. See, Kenseth was laying back there a little bit. And he's got a pretty good run. Smoking on the back stretch. Okay, so when he drives in, oh, he drives in hard. Oh, maybe too hard. He's gonna open the door for the 17. Side, keep digging, buddy. White flag right here. Keep digging. Side by side, one to go. I think Flaney drove that thing in just a little bit too deep, Kyle. Hanging with them though. He is giving it all he has right now. This is great racing That's good right stuff here, man. Right there now he's See if he can hold that line through three and four. What a great run by Blaney, man. Has never won in the Bush Series. It's going to lose a little bit here, but if... Oh, he's got it. Kenseth he's got Lovell's, it. Kenseth's getting Kenseth loose. Kenseth Blaney. Oh. Back it down, baby. You're the best. Dave Blaney wins a wacky race at Charlotte. <laughs> Denny Hamlin has gone around. Kyle Busch is on pit road. He's hit something. Imagine that. A lot of damage on the left front there, but man, that's a great finish. That was a great finish to, to have stayed here all night long. It was worth the finish, but Kenseth was driving the wheels off He's of it. He's giving everything he had. Everything he had, man, but Blaney just, Blaney opened it up and gave him the low line where he had been, but that's the way it was. Dave Blaney gets his first Bush Series win. Good to see Dave win. It, it's I mean, great. He, I mean, he's a very see. underrated driver in this in this uh, series. Yeah, and he has places like Atlanta and places like that that he runs. And Dave can drive the high line, man. And he'd run it up there on the outside of Kenseth. Kenseth gets a little bit loose. He corrects. I thought he was going to get it back, man, but it's just. These races are worth staying around for the finish. Yes, they are. There's Kevin Harvick. He is the 2006 NASCAR Bush Series champion. He has mathematically clinched the title with four races still remaining. Seven wins. He is unofficially 775 points ahead of second place Carl Edwards.